Good evening, everyone. I thought I was doing some V. Well, I was doing some V curves, so I thought I'd do a, a short video um, just to show um, the basic procedure. Um, I've not done any rehearsal for this, so it's pretty rough and ready. So um, bear with me. Anyway, so the scope's out there um, at the observatory. It's um, currently pointed at about a mag four star, roughly at the zenith. So the scope's generally just basically pointing straight up. Um, I've got Maxim DL up here, up and running. So um, just to prove the star is there, I do a quick single shot capture, one second luminance filter. It's pretty. Um, it's in fast download mode, so the uh, right. Okay, there's the star. If I stick some crosshairs up. There you go. So it's sort of pretty much centered. It doesn't have to be smack on, but it's pretty much in the center. So there's the star. Okay, so if I pull up um, the focus max, and we'll select a profile. I've just created a dummy sort of UK AI profile for want of a better one. So once you've selected a profile, you then have to go to system and you have to um, select your uh, imaging software. So in my case, it's Maxim DL. Focus Max only works with Max and DL or CCD soft. Uh, connect to the, the physical focuser, so not surprisingly in my case it's a Sharpsbow Pro focus, focuser, so connect. Okay, it's connected. Um, the, there's a f quite a few little features here. Um, this, isn't, this isn't the latest version actually. Um, I'm just using this because it, it uh, usually selects uh, HFD, so method. Uh, pretty much leaving all this as default really so without messing around we'll just go straight into the wizard first light wizard uh, wizard will measure the characteristics of your system and automatically set up all of the critical parameters needed for focus max very good select moderately bright star near the zenith doesn't saturate the camera center on the chip done that uh, there's my profile select that um, basically it's going to uh, place all the major windows on the screen which it's done and uh, next now it's going to basically the first thing it's going to do is characterize the system so it's going to um, move the focuser and me measure the uh, half flux diameter or, or HFD at various focus points and then keep moving the focus until it reaches a value of um, half flux diameter of 40 that's the default I haven't changed it so uh, off we go um, Okay, ready. So it will now take a shot, take a picture. Very good, there it goes. So this is now all running completely autonomously. So it's got a star, it's very good at finding stars. So you almost never have to select one by hand. If you provide you've got one reasonably in the center, it will, it will find it and center it. So now what it's doing now is it's taking images as quickly as it can and uh, measuring the half flux diameter and then moving the focuser. So you can see the focuser position moving here. Half flux diameter is increasing 3.17, 6.11, and it's plotting those on this little, in this box here. Now it's basically what it's trying to do is establish the um, linear characteristics of the focus position versus half flux diameter. So now it's generated a, a line through multiple points and it will keep doing this until the half flux diameter reaches 40 and you can see the star over here has become more and more and more bloated as the uh, as it becomes more and more out of focus and the half flux diameter increases so, so now 28 uh, 31 focus positions moving 35 so in the next couple of points it will reach 40 at that point it will stop having established the Characteristic right 40.21 stopped moving the focuser to 25,919. My sharp sky focuser ge generally s s sits around 25,000 um, for want of a better number, so it's moving to that position. See it moving here, right? It's in fact, right, it's moved to that position. It'll take a shot initial camera binning so it controls all the camera binning and all that automatically so it's got star now what it does is it moves the focuser to where it thinks the half flux diameter should be 40 but kind of like the other side of that nominal center point so it's actually reducing the position again it's doing this all automatically you're not just watching 
so 20,000 20,439 right there's a star big fat bloated half flux diameter is 40.91 it's now going to start building a V curve so now what it's doing is it's moving the focuser um, now you can um, set it up to take multiple shots per per sample point and if your seeing's a bit poor that often helps um, because it averages the uh, averages the data but for the purposes of this little quick video I've uh, just got it doing a single shot per point so there's a little bit of wobble in the v, in the v curve that would it probably would be a bit smoother if I was taking multiple shots it, it, I don't find it makes an awful lot of difference it it, it nails it pretty much every time well, well pretty every time generally so uh, this will extend all the way down hopefully to the center line at that which point it will um, have reached the optimum focal point this is not focusing at the moment this is just creating a V curve so that that's that often causes confusion we're not actually focusing at the moment all we're doing is characterizing our optics in our camera for the whole optical chain so you can see it's gone down to the point very nice very nice symmetrical and now it's um, extending up the other side now generally you take about 10 V curves and what happens is when you actually come to focus it will um, average them so just generally improves the overall characteristics. So I find 10 V curves, I've tried more, doesn't seem to make an awful lot of difference, just takes time. I've done it with as few as four, still work pretty well. So um, right, it's almost there, three more points to go. So what I've told it to do at the moment is it w w once it's finished its first V curve, it will actually, because this autofocus checkbox is ticked, it will then actually perform an autofocus run on a single V curve. So there we go. So there's our first system profile V curve. Um, now, if you're going to do multiple runs, all you have to do is sort of put the repeat value in of, I don't know, nine more. But I would suggest you untick the autofocus, otherwise, it will perform an autofocus after every V curve, which just takes time and serves no purpose. So um, it's off now. So it's um, going to do an autofocus run. So there we go. It's going to take a shot. And then it's going to move the focuser see it moving here it's now using the V curve to actually home in on the correct focus po point moving it um, so it's performing its autofocus run don't know how long it took it'll probably take about 10-15 seconds and I think it's probably finished Bop. so that's pretty good I mean that's come up with a half flux diameter of 2.56 which is I think you'd struggle to improve on that by hand, certainly in that time anyway. Um, now you can then carry on to do more, I generally end at this point and then it's all it's come up with a repeat number automatically of 9, it's automatically de-ticked the auto focus button. Now you can, there's one little tweak you can do, um, You can, any other box I tend to uh, use is focus convergence uh, where you can, uh, it will it will find the best focal point on the based on the V curve and then it will have a little sort of shimmy around um, based on this number of steps and this number of samples and, 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 and attempt to improve on it. Sometimes that improves things, often it doesn't. I've, sometimes I use it, but if I forget, it never seems to make much difference. So um, that was that. So if we just do a um, quick test, if I kill all this down, if I actually load up, if I actually load up my um, my proper, so that's my profile. So I've, there we go. So I've got ten focus runs in there. Now, if, when you load it up, you have to um, reconnect. So I've reconnected to the focuser. It's reselected maximum. There's only one. You only have to do that when if you select a new profile. So if I basically um, kill that and just hit focus, taking into account the star is already s centralized ish. So it's now going to go off and do a focus run. It's going to move to a nominal point, take a shot. There it is. Found the star. Half flux diameter is 15.33. Then it will take a couple more points. I've not got the convergence switched on just for the sake of speed. there focused 
half flux diameter 2.76 so that's as easy as that now any questions uh yeah fire away it's not a very um polished video but i thought it might be interesting for somebody to watch anyway uh thanks for watching uh cheers